playground. I want monkey bars. I need a slide. I need some monkey bars and swings. I need a new slide. I need a new swing. I need a new pool. The playground project came about as uh, the result of a discussion that the Ed Services team was having about how to spark and encourage creativity uh, and disrupt the norm in our school. We wanted to really kind of give everybody a, a boost and uh, see what would happen. So it's part social experiment, part educational experiment, and we need a playground. So <laughs> those things kind of aligned. The playground project uh, it was a challenge really. Uh, our teachers did not know what the challenge was going to be until the morning of. The teachers were told not to plan anything for September 14th. Uh, no, no tests, no lessons, just come ready to have a good time. And we gave them a one sheet set of instructions, kind of a mission impossible uh, task for the day and that was to create an outdoor learning space slash playground. So what would we need in an outdoor environment to not only have a good time but to facilitate learning. They needed to incorporate as many academic content areas as possible. They were to spend the entire day doing that and nothing but that and that at the end of the day they were going to present what they had done to the entire school get them used to the idea of arts integration in the classroom. Teachers like to plan and they like to, of course, know what they're going to do. They want to know what comes next and by doing the project this way, not letting them know what was going to happen, there was an element of excitement and spontaneity. So it was meant to be a disruption and it was meant to um, be kind of fun, let it happen, let's see where this goes moment. The best uh, teaching kind of can happen in those moments. The kids were very happy. It was a surprise for me. The kids were able to visualize and create their own playground. I want them to understand how they can use their imagination to create something different and something new. If they panicked at the beginning of the day, we did not see it. <laughs> Everybody kind of embraced it and just took off running. Uh, when we uh, dismissed the students at the end of the day, we debriefed with all of the teachers and, and asked them, how did that go for you? And um, to no one's surprise, some of them loved it, had a ball. Um, some of them were a little... Um, shaken up by it, <laughs> um, but ultimately I think everybody enjoyed it and saw the value in it. Well initially I had a great deal of anxiety when I got the letter the morning of because I, I'm like, oh my god, this is a, at least a week's worth of, of a project. It would take a week to do this project and they want us to do it in a day. But then I said, you know what, we're going to go with the flow, we're going to just see what happens. It actually turned out a lot better than I thought. I heard someone say, I don't know which one of them said, this is the best day ever. And they were really into it. It was cool. I think it's cool that we worked, we worked hard on it. It was challenging at first, but when we started working together, it was easier. I was doing the math part. Like what we wanted in the math room, all the different games that were gonna be in there. And then some other people were working on like the science and social studies and reading and writing. I think it was fun because we got to work on other people's projects and help them. It is so important for our children to feel like they are part of a community here, part of this environment, that we honor and represent who they are and their voices. So to see a design that they have created themselves come to life on our campus is so meaningful because that, that gives them agency and not just in what they're learning but where they learn. So to have a space that they had a say in creating, um, what a powerful educational moment that is. Please help us build a new playground.